Howdy, boys and girls. Uh, Christmas has come early. Uh, Santa wiggled his fat ass down the chimney to deliver us this. Uh, the Cooking with Jack show. Yeah, this is, this is a YouTube show by a man with, I'm pretty sure it's Pika. This man will literally eat the fucking dust off the ground and call it delicious. If you're eating anything, please put it down and wait until you're done watching this, because this guy makes some of the worst, most disgusting food I think I've ever seen. So, uh, yeah, let's learn how to make, uh, beef jerky at home. That VFX work is just absolutely beautiful. I guess I can't get on his ass too much. This shit was made in, like, 2002, so... Welcome back to the show. Jack Scalfani here, and you're watching the Cooking with Jack show. This setup is just absolutely terrifying. First of all, we've got the giant Lasco box fan, so already it's not looking good. But we also have a styrofoam cup. What the fuck could be in that? I don't trust whatever is inside of a styrofoam cup. Also, I'm going to be putting the recipes in the description box on this pay on the page you're looking at, okay? So a lot of you have asked this already. Who is actually recreating Jack's recipes here? I refuse. And, and, and I, I, honestly, I just hope, I just hope that nobody has ever actually followed these recipes before because they would not be alive. They would be dead. You're probably wondering why I have this fan here. That's the only thing I've been wanting to know for the past three minutes and 37 seconds. Vegetarians, hang on, because next week is a vegetarian episode. I'm doing another meat episode today, and you're probably just flipping out right now. I apologize. There's been a lot of meat going on in this kitchen. Something that I've noticed throughout Jack's videos is that he's constantly talking to the audience like that. Oh, I know you guys are just absolutely flipping out. I just find it so hard to believe that an actual human being, like on their knees, fists up in the air, no, curse you, Jack, and your meat recipes. He showed me that I can use two air conditioning filters and a box fan to make my jerky. There's a part of this video that I support because I'm not a huge fan of big jerky. I, I think the prices that we have for beef jerky these days are just fucking insane. You know, it's like $40 for like a bag of jerky that's like has like seven pieces in it. It's, it's actually crazy. So I think more people should just make jerky at home. But for the love of God, please do not make it like Jack is making it. Just get a jerky a fire machine and just do that in fact let me show you right now so oh my god jack what the fuck is that it looks like a bag of aborted fetuses holy shit dude and uh i got the marinade from my viewer uh 300 z31 and that's in the description area the marinade that's in here okay you know to be honest i don't think i would trust z300 331 or whatever the fuck his name was because that just looks like raw sewage jack that just looks like raw poopy I don't think you can put that in your mouth. Okay. There you go. Good for you, Jack. <laughs> you've you've made something that looks almost edible. Hopefully it doesn't get worse. Foreshadowing is a narrative device. It's, it's on high. In fact, I'm gonna go diagonal. Daring today, aren't we, Jack? Nice secure. Look, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay there all night. Jack, that's moving a concerning amount. Ooh, wow. You could totally smell the, the marinade blowing right through this thing. Yes, Jack. It's shooting air through an air filter. There we go. You ready? Ah! Jack! How does that even... How, how does that even happen? I'm at a loss for words right now. That is absolutely evil. This, this looks just like pure torture and suffering in in meat wow i got a boatload of jerky can you see that look how beautiful that is the face only a jack scalfani could love mm. that is the face of pain that is a face that does not like that jerky at all all right try it out if you do it send me a picture okay i'm gonna tell you right now i don't think he got a single picture nobody tried this or at least I'd like to hope. Awesome. Well, that was disgusting, but, you know, I haven't quite had my fill of Jack just yet. I think 
I think we need to move on to a bit of a palate cleanser. And I think the perfect video for that would be how to make the best rice pudding ever. So uh, let's learn how to make some rice pudding. Today we're doing something new, something fresh. Wait just one petty flippin' minute. Jack Scalfani has his own greatest hits? And he had a greatest hits back in 2009. How long has this man been active? And who would want to watch a greatest hits of this guy? That's like if I tried to make a greatest hits video. <laughs> no one asks for a greatest hits. I guarantee it. Um, I try to stay away from desserts. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take about two hours to make total from beginning to end, but it's a piece of cake to make. Okay. No, Jack, it's rice. All right, now I don't know if many of you know how to crack eggs. This is how I do it, okay? You tap them together until one breaks. Why would you crack an egg like that? At least the way that I do it, you just hit it over the side of the bowl. And that that works 100% of the time. I know that there's, there's room for interpretation for cracking eggs together, but or just cracking them, but cracking them together seems like such a counterintuitive process. Like, I feel like there's just so much room for shell to get in there. Set the other one down. See that little dentation? Just press your fingers there and separate. Comes right out. Now, when you get down to the bottom one, I just kind of take my knuckle and tap it. Now that is absolutely horrific. Nobody should ever do that. And I, again, I say that as not a chef or a cook. Please just do not fucking crack your eggs like that. A spoon of vanilla. This is obviously just for flavor. That is so much fucking vanilla. There we go. Drop it in there. Baker two. So we're just gonna... And that doesn't even look like enough cinnamon. What I want you to do is, I want you to, to mix that. That's it. Looks nasty, it's gonna be delicious. That's all of Jack's food. It looks nasty, but instead of being delicious, it's also nasty. That's all I care about, is the end result. Jack, if you cared about the end result, your food would not look the way it does. High flame till it starts to boil. You're gonna cook this just like you would uh, pasta. Or you could cook it like you cook rice, but maybe that's just a bit of an unorthodox method. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take those six cups of milk and add that in there. We're gonna cook that down next. That's like a whole udder of milk. That is so much fucking milk. Then put in some more. Just slowly stir it in. I hate to be that guy, but it really looks like he blew a load on the side of that pot. Don't want to see any yellow. It should blend right in, okay? That's a lot of yellow, Jack. Oh, wow. You can totally smell the cinnamon now. What? How? You put like a, a, a tiddly wink of cinnamon in there. How, how can you smell the cinnamon? There's nothing in There's none. You, you put like a little fart of cinnamon. When it's all blended good, turn the flame off, and we are going to pour this out. Hopefully into the trash. Now to top it off, take your cinnamon, lightly sprinkle the surface, that coverage is just so sad. It looks like an accident. But I haven't done a dessert, so I thought I would do one. Please don't ever make any more, Jack. Oh, that's delicious. And in celebration, I'm going to go to Walmart right now and pick up my Miracle Knives. I feel like this video wouldn't have been complete without him sharing the fact that he was about to go to Walmart to go buy a knife set. It really just encompasses what cook, what the what the it really encompasses what Jack Scalfani is all about. Making shit food and using knife sets. Two things that make Jack Scalfani irreplaceable on the site, and I love this man. But uh yeah, that was pretty yummy, huh? Mm-mm-mm. Anyways, that's it. See ya.